Um, Mary and I just wanted to update you. Uh, we've moved to Ocala. And um, if you're not familiar with Ocala, it's in uh, central Florida. North, north central. central. Yeah. 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 So we're in the middle of Aaron and Pete's kitchen, and they have and love chickens. So does Mary. You don't need. You don't have a beverage, do you? I have some water. Oh, do you? Nothing kind of boring. I should have made some coffee. Well, this is just an announcement. So why did we move to Ocala? Well, I think we moved for a few different reasons. I've wanted to get back into an area that's more rural mm -hmm. and more what we've been used to most of our life in Wisconsin. So um, we started checking things out, and uh, Aaron and Pete also wanted to get out of the city and. Um, what they were more used to for most of their lives. So we checked out Ocala and fell in love with it and thought, hey, this is a great place to move. Yeah, it, it really is. We were really surprised. Um, and the interesting thing is we're down in the southeast. And so basically, if you look on a map, we're in the north central part of Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> Ocala, that's how much it feels like Wisconsin. But it's just Except a lot warmer. A lot warmer, and it's got a ton of rolling hills. Not and as much as Wisconsin, but, no. it, but it does have some hills and um, beautiful, beautiful horse farms. In fact, um, isn't it the horse capital, capital of the world? Of the world? Yeah. So uh, I'm enjoying discovering all of that. Right, and so when you think of the coast in Florida, that's where you want to move to and you want to be by the beach. Um, we like the beach to walk on it but after that you turn into a crispy critter and um so we're not big beach people um and so anyway what we enjoy about this area is just the wilderness is really amazing the ocala national forest is here there's 600 springs the natural springs are beautiful oh yeah yeah lots of trees um Lots, yeah. of, lots of reasons that we mm -hmm. decided to move here, plus we're um, kind of adventurous, I guess. We, yeah. We're actually living in our camper right now because our house isn't done, but it's yep. like, hey, why not? Yep, and um, so anyway, that's, that's why you haven't seen us on here. Um, the other reason we moved here is the housing prices are cheaper, uh, and we just really enjoy it. So what are we going to do? Um, in Bible study company up here. Well, one of the first things that we want to talk about is we still are studying scripture together. And uh, it's been sort of a challenge because we're kind of out of our element. You know, well, in we're in a 17 foot in the inside, right? Yeah. A camper um, with a Murphy bed. And it's been, <laughs> it's been surprisingly better than I thought, but... Um, you can get on each other's nerves a little bit, and yeah. we also we've done we've kept up our studies, but it's been um, more difficult. Um, I'm not sure why, but uh, I think you're just off kilter. Yeah, we you you do you feel off kilter, and I mean, mm -hmm. what a better time to be in the word when you're off kilter. And I have been in the word, but we're human, like you know, and mm -hmm. you fall down and figure out. Oh, that's right. I haven't spent much time in the Word. Maybe that's why I'm feeling a little stressed or a little um, irritated that I'm in a camper and not in our yeah. house yet. Yeah. Well, and the the interesting thing is, for us going forward, we're still going to do these podcasts. We really appreciate your feedback. Um, our mission here is to ser uh, serve the Lord, serve others, and um, do Acts 2.42, and if you haven't read it, it's pe people listening to the apostles and uh, their te teaching breaking bread. If you have studies, uh, questions for us regarding um, what you'd like us to study, or if you have questions in general, let us know. We're also trying to put together a course that people can um, have and actually participate in. It's not a Bible study. We've decided that what people really need are the tools to learn how to study the Bible for themselves. And so, and if you don't know this, but on Bible Study Company, when you go use it, if you see a camera icon, that's usually Dr. Baruch's teaching for that um, course. And so what we're finding is a lot of people 
are starting to use that. They're also starting to use the interlinary, which is Greek well, and I and think that's one English. of the one of the things that we'll be pursuing in the future is under um, explaining that a little better what the interlinary is and mm-hmm. how to um, actually use the services in Bible study company for the average pew sitter who doesn't want to be overwhelmed with too much technology. Right. And so by putting roots down here, we're hoping to have more some conferences when things clear up. Uh, just like we did some of the uh, videos have seen thousands of views and uh, so anyway whatever you would like to uh, hear about us but I want to talk to you a little bit about the growth of Bible Study Company Um, and again um, uh, it's free to use and our kind of our tagline is it's free to use but uh, the power to change hearts and that is the, what represents what the Word of God is to us. Um, so if you need training in how to use it, just let us know. We'll be right. happy to show that to you. We've had like 14,000 plus listeners on our podcast. India is a big item. I'm not really sure why. But um, thousands more reach on Facebook. We've had uh, thousands on YouTube. and. We would really appreciate it if you'd share and subscribe. And again, our sh- shorts that are going to be coming up are really um, d- targeted teachings, like what is a mountain in Scripture, and why do you, why did Jesus say, uh, if you if if you have faith, you can throw this mountain into the sea, and all kinds of different little topics that we're going to talk. Well, yeah, about. and I think these topics are things that for for me personally and you too, the reason we're wanting to share them is that it um, puts things in perspective and together for us that we may not have understood reading something in scripture and then finding out like you're talking about the mountain um, being a kingdom or a city or Mm -hmm. um, that kind of blew my mind when I found that out because it made so many of the scriptures that I didn't really get it's like well how can you move a mountain you know literally Um, just those types of little tidbits that are um, good for people to know and exciting yeah exactly so again if you have topics that you want us to explore let us know um we've had good luck with personal one-on-one uh discussions and by bible studies to get folks started and we're kind of excited about it so if you have anything else you'd like us to talk about a short or something like that just let us know we'll be happy to do that so this is it for our chickens behind us and um and our next podcast is coming up. But again, do you have anything to close with? No, just thank you for watching and um, hanging in there with us while we're going through this move and um, not being as consistent as we typically are with our podcasts. Um, we are trying to get back on track and pray for us. Think Please, about us when yeah. we're in our little teeny camper. Um, <laughs> but, you know, praise the Lord. It's a, you know... He's really helped us and made us grateful that we have it. Yep, exactly. Well, thank you, everyone. Really appreciate you supporting us and uh, being our friends. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.